In this video, we are going to discuss one hot encoding. So what is one hot encoding? Actually, in case of one hot encoding, and we can do the encoding of the categorical variables in a certain form that which we can feed to the machine learning algorithms for the better prediction oriented applications. So one hot encoding is a process by which categorical variables are converted into a form that could be provided to machine learning algorithms to do a better job in pre prediction. The categorical variable assignment can be done using this Escalance level encoder, but the problem is that it assumes the higher the categorical value in case of numerical obviously, the better is the category. One hot encoder performs binarization of the category and include it as a feature to train the model. Suppose you have flower feature which can take values that is daffodil, lily and rose. One hot encoding converts the flower feature to three features that is is daffodil, is lily and is rose which are all binary in nature. So if you are not getting this idea clear, so let us go for this example. So here we are having this feature number 0 and it is having 0 and 1, it is having only the value 0 and 1 in case of feature number 0. Then we can write in this way that is a feature number 0, we are having 2 columns. So here each and every column is having the binary value that is 0 and 1 and it will be for the feature number 0 and it will be for the feature number 0 with the value 0 and it is for the feature number 0 with the value 1. If you, if you are not getting, let me repeat. So here it is 0, so I am putting 1 here in the 0 column and here it is 1, so I shall be putting 1 here in the 1 column. Here it is 0, so 1 is there, here it is 1, then 1 is here. So this particular feature can have 2 values, so 0 and 1. So for the 0, I am just mentioning this column and for the 1, I am mentioning this column. In this way, this particular categorical value can be, can be encoded in this way using hot encoding format. Let us go for this one. This is our feature number 1. Here this particular column has got filled up with 3 values that is 0, 1 and 2. So that is why we have, we have made 3 values here. So 0 means I shall be putting 1 here. For 1, so 0, 1, 2, I shall be putting 1 here. For 2, I shall be putting 1 here, 0, 1, 2, I shall be putting 1 here and for 0, I shall be putting 1 here back again. For this feature number 2, we are having 3, 0, 1 and 2. So how many values we are having here? How many categorical values? 4. So that is why we are having 4 columns here. So that is the column for 0, for 1, for 2, for 3. Here it is 3, so 1 will be here, rest will have the value 0 and here it is 0, so 1 will be here. Here it is 1, so 1 will be here, here it is 2, so 1 will be in this particular column. So encoded values are binary now. So now in this way, we have discussed what is hot encoding and let us go for one practical example, practical implementation of this hot encoding for your better understanding. So here is the implementation for you. In this video, we are explaining the one hot encoding technique using Python. So what is that? So here we are having a sample code. Let me explain line by line. From numpy import args max, so we will be using this one. Here we are having one data, so there is welcome. So what is the length? Length is our seven characters, okay. So now print data, so if I print it, obviously I will be getting the required welcome as output. So that is my print data, okay, next. Next, I am going for one alphabet. So this alphabet is nothing but a string which is containing all the respective 26 alphabets are there, including one blank space also. So we will define a mapping of characters to integers. So we are going for character to integer. So what is that? We are creating one dictionary where character C will be there and I will be the respective position of the character. So for I and C in enumerate alphabet. So alphabet is containing this particular string where A to Z is written, one blank space is there because my data may also have some blank spaces. So welcome to our place. So in that case, we will be having blank spaces in our string which is going to get encoded. 
so character to integer we have done this one and then integer to character doing the just the reverse so here we are writing i and c so position will be given and respective character will be there in the respective dictionary for i c in enumerate that is our alphabet so let me print them so character to integer and integer to character to see that what is the current content in them so if i go for execution you can find that for character to integer we are having this dictionary and where a is the zeroth character b is the character number one c is the character number two z is the character number 25 because we have started from zero so 26 characters z will be having the the value here key value pair so value here will be having 25 and here the blank space will have the value 26 on the other hand in case of integer to character we are having that at plus zero we are having a at plus one we are having b at plus two we are having c and so on so at plus 26 we will be having our blank space so character to integer and integer to character i have printed it for the better understanding next so integer encoded so character to integer car for car in data so here the, my data is my welcome so for car in data so for each and every character i'm just retrieving the respective value against the character and that has been put it in this integer encoded so if i put this integer encoded variable on print you can find that it is coming like this so welcome w e l c o m e so they are coming like this why it is my 4 why it is my 22 because just come here w if you come to the w see for w it is 22 for w it is 22 why it is 4 because w e l so that is e here so e is having the value 4 here so accordingly the integer has got encoded next one now we are going for one hot encoded we are creating one list that is an empty list here so for value in integer encoded for value in integer encoded so letter is equal to 0 for underscore in range of these letters so now if you put this letter value is equal to 1 and 1 uh, hot encoded dot append the respective letter so what is happening see in this particular case what is happening if we print this one hot encoded you can find that we are having this welcome so first character was w so this is my 26 uh, binary bits are there so it is at that w place so w x y z blank space so this w is not a not b not c in this way we are having this w is here then not x not y not z not a blank space next one was our e for the welcome so next one was our ill so it is not a not b not c not d but e and rest of the characters are not present so in this way so w e l c o m e in this way i'm finding this the hot encoded form so i'm getting this one so that is a one hot encoded form i've just shown you the outputs now we are going for the invert encoding that means from that very uh, 0 1 binary vector i want to get back the character so now one hot encoded 0 so for the first character for the first uh, vector plus you know the, for the first vector you are getting the argument max and then integer to character i'm just converting it so here the position will be respective position will be our w position and then integer to character i'll be converting that one and then i'll be going for this inverted so i'll be getting here output as w you can find that i'm getting this output as w because i'm considering only the first vector here so here you can find that how to convert this will come to this particular encoded form and then from there how to get the respective characters back i think you got this idea so this is my total code the total code is on the screen you can also do the typing of the same you can do the experiments and you can go for temporary print of the variables for the better understanding as i did here thanks for watching